Hello, and welcome back to my Twitch live streaming of KSP's Hard Career Mode. What you're about to see was recorded on May 23rd and has been edited for YouTube. Video and audio quality will be lower than that of my other YouTube videos. Please follow me on Twitch to get notified when I'm streaming. I'm Tyler Rays there as well. I typically stream on Wednesdays at 4 p.m. Pacific, 11 p.m. GMT, and on the weekends at 1 p.m. Pacific time, 8 p.m. GMT, but the time of my next broadcast will be posted in the title of my channel. Now, on to my commentary from May 23rd. Okay, here we go. Welcome to Our Career Mode Continued. And, yep, I think we have a mission underway, so I'll just get on with that and we'll see how that goes. We've got this Ike mission here. And, yep, let's go to it. Sidri Kerman, yes. And Sidri performed visual surveys of Ike at certain locations and returned to Kerman from orbit of Ike. Let's get some more subtle music here. There we go, that's more space ex exploration music. Now, we've got some fuel left over in here, not much, but it's some. So maybe we should go with the visual surveys first. Yeah, let's let's go with the the um, the crew report in space flight above that zone first and then we won't have to waste any of the fuel I am doing fine today yeah uh, in this case uh, several missions lined up together and in this case uh, one of the missions has us doing a bunch of stuff so you have to be a little bit peculiar about it uh, activate navigation Hmm, looks like we'll try and change our inclination around here. Now it wants us pretty low too. It says above 9,400 meters. Ah, we, we should dip it first. Uh, we should dip down this side. Okay, it wants us above 9,400 meters, but probably not too far above that. So let's set our periapsis to 9,400-ish. Okay, that's good. Um, this is probably doing more than I want it to. Let's wait on the inclination adjust. Well, actually, inclination adjustment from out here might not be such a bad thing. But let me do one thing at a... Now, it's tough to figure out whether I should do one thing at a time or both at once in this case. It might not be the right location to make the inclination adjustment, but... But maybe it'll be alright. Uh, it seems like it's overdoing it, though. I do want to get into... We're going to have to land anyway. We have to land over here. So no point being too high, but... I'm not gonna land in the dark though, so I'm probably gonna wait until Ike turns around. Let's let's wait in orbit high while Ike uh, while those locations get into daylight. Okay, this might be a better idea. We're already quite lined up for those landing locations. It's a little bit of a shame that we're going to change our inclination now, but I am going to. Okay, we'll go for this sort of pass. That should work out for that place. Wouldn't it be better to land and then take off at the right location, right inclination? Yeah. I, you see, the thing, the reason I was thinking about uh, doing the survey first is because we still have a little bit of fuel here, but I guess it's not that much fuel. Yeah. I agree with you. Let's land at these locations. Now, let me make sure EVA report and crew report. Crew report is in space flight. Oh, that's that one, okay. Yeah, EV report and surface sample. Okay. Yep, I agree. Let us uh, do the landing. Oh, that's pretty well lit. Okay. Yep, I'll do that. Here we go. I'm gonna do it now. Okay, well, that's got us pretty well lined up. Oh, it's rotated a bit too far. Just a bit. Okay. Correction. Sorry for the lack of commentary. I'm uh, starting out a bit quiet today, I guess. 
Just trying to think things through and get back into the feel of it. I guess I should activate uh, navigation for these now. Though I still don't see any indication of a marker around. Seems pretty well lined up there. Just do my thing and everything will be fine. <laughs> yeah, well that works some of the time. Oh, uh, stage is out. Okay. Alright, well, here we go. We're gonna find out how this is. Uh, something more dramatic in terms of music, perhaps. Let's see. Since we're gonna land. Alright. Did you change the navigation to the landing site? Yep. I can double check. Uh, I, I think I set the other one, but uh, let me activate it to uh, alpha. Doesn't really matter, I don't think. Okay, we, we need to slow down by quite a lot. Doesn't... Okay, now, now it says it. Still doesn't give me a marker of any kind. I just deactivated it? No, no, it says uh, deactivate navigation now, so I must have activated it. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, lag, lag. Standard lag. Alright. Uh, it's not helping me any, though. They could, could sort of give me a marker over here somewhere. That'd be nice. I know they don't usually do that. All I can do is sort of estimate where I'm going to end up and hope that it's close enough to the target site. Looks like uh, for... It's alpha, that's beta. Okay, which one's alpha? Surface sample. Well, let's aim a little bit further south. It looks like we're a little bit too far north for alpha. Okay. It's on the ground. If you turn up more from the ground, you might see it on that ball. Well, let's try it. Let's just go around. Oh, there it is. That's a weird place for it to be. Okay, uh, right. Uh, it's. I, I'd like an opposite marker. Right, that's what I want. Uh, that's towards it, which obviously is prograde for us. But that is zero help. <laughs> that is zero help right now. Well... Um, hope it's around here somewhere. How close do we have to get to these? I, I seem to recall it's pretty darn close. Uh, don't drift. Well, if we're over it, it should be right below us, but that's not a safe thing to check. Nope, no it isn't. Unless we can invert control of some kind, but that's probably not safe either. This is as far in as I can zoom. 500 meters, you think? Okay. On the bright side, Sidri can uh, EVA around to get the surface sample and the EVA report. I think we'll just have to land here. And I have to make sure that I don't use more of my fuel than uh, I absolutely have to because we want to bring Sidri back. It would not be a good thing if uh, we ran out of fuel and Sidri couldn't get back home. That'd be our second Duna Orbit rescue mission in that case and I think I've done enough of those for this for this whole live streaming thing. Yeah, very good descent. Uh, basically, one throttle setting pretty much all the way down. Wow, uh, basically all the way down, except I'm going to have to throttle down just a little bit here. Okay. All right. Grinding contracts to upgrade your R&D building. Yeah, the R&D building is pretty costly. 
I should have action grouped these ladders. Uh, we'll observe Mr. Goo at this location and intend to keep that data and recover it. Uh, it looks like we've already done stuff here. But this time, well, hmm. Yeah, I was hoping to hit a different biome, but it looks like uh, we're going to duplicate biomes. That sucks, but uh, we'll get to recover it this time. So I guess we've got some sort of completeness for that. Now, it doesn't look like we're quite at the right location. Uh, we're a little bit south, uh, southwest from where we need to be. So, um, Sidri, you're going to have to do some EVAing. That's how it is. You know, uh, having the nav ball in this view might be helpful. <laughs> okay, so how do I tell which direction to go in? Any ideas? Um, where's the sun? Well, I, I assume that's west. Maybe. Grab the data using EVA so you can reuse the thermometer. Yeah, I should probably do that. Um, let's have Sidri do the main stuff first. Um, all right, well, what can I say? Uh, head off in this direction, Sidri. Oh, sorry. Looked in map view, wasn't paying attention to you. Oh, wait. Uh, yeah, you can take a surface sample there, but I don't think this is the right location, is it? I don't know. Are you getting closer? Maybe you're getting closer. Okay, let's continue. Waypoint Manager. Uh, Waypoint Manager is a mod, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I look, I, I know there are mods for there are mods for everything. Yes, I know. Uh, uh, Waypoint Manager, but uh, we can't do that. Orient my craft and use it as a reference. Well, um, we'll we'll go out like this for now. And uh, let me let, let me land. Sidri. Oh, darn. Seem to be getting closer. If this doesn't work, we might have to go with other stuff like orienting the craft and all. We might have to re-land the craft given how much EVA propellant I'm using here. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Just land carefully now, Sidri. You got too much sideways. Alright. Uh, this is... One of the locations. Which location are you? You're Alpha, right? Okay, so Alpha, we need to take a surface sample. Alright. Okay, we collected survey data from Site Alpha. Gonna keep that data. Um, okay, click on the marker in map mode to target it. Uh, well, now we have beta. But I don't have a nav ball. So, sort of doesn't help. Will Kerbals die if they hit on the ground too hard? I don't want to find out. <laughs> I don't want to find out. We seem to be going in the right direction, though. I can only keep going until we have... I mean, I don't want to go below 3 on the EVA propellant. So, we'll head back home after this. Distant marker, when I get close, didn't seem to for Alpha. Probably part of a mod. Okay, well, here's beta. Okay, ah, tumble. 
Okay, and from here we need to take an EVA report. Okay, EVA report while you're still down there. Bunch of large rocks scattered around the surface. Surface appears to react oddly toward to light. Okay, keep that data. Okay, back to Ike mission. This we can target, and this we have a good number for. All right, up you go, and forward. Good job, Sidri. Yeah, they will, but you think the, the thing with them landing on the head still works? Uh, you mean using the head as a cushion kind of thing? Is that what we're talking about? Okay, looking good for Sidri. Well, it's so big. <laughs> yeah, I guess uh, that's, uh, that's some sort of evolutionary adaptation for the Kerbals. The Kerbals who didn't have big, uh, big heads that could be used as cushions didn't survive, right? Makes sense. Spreading the load on the bigger surface, yep. Okay, trying not to slam into the pod. Have to slow down quite a lot. I accelerated a bit. Okay, very good. Practicing those landings with Sidri. Okay, up we go, and let's see if we can grab from this side the data. I don't think so, though. Uh, no, that's log pressure data. Can you sort of climb up further? Okay, take data. Right. And you can take data from the thermometer. Excellent. Slide down, grab, and board. Okay. So those are all stored, and let's let's actually do a crew report here because the other crew report is in flight. Uh, we'll take the crew report, uh, keep data. Um, we've planted a flag here, right? Oh no, we haven't. Okay, well uh, then Sidri has to be the first one to plant a flag on Ike. We have to EVA. We gotta have him take the data so we can do a further crew report. Okay, down you get. Oh no, you should have grabbed them. Oh well. Okay, well actually, good landing there. Okay, uh, plant a flag. All the reports were on the lowlands, so no point getting any other surface sample or EV report here. Okay, so uh, Sid, Sidri, and Ike's lowlands, lowlands. And the date. Okay. Stayed on target. Okay. Good job. Okay, board. So, now we've got this target. And we have to be a little bit high over it. Uh, target to the rally note. This target. Yes. Um... Me and my estimating angles, I assume that that's going to be like 60 degrees from here. Uh, no way to calculate it unless it's like on the nav ball. Well, we've got a that sort of marker. That's not right though. I think that that's for Duna Rally, that's not for this. Yeah. Okay, so let's retract the ladders and then we'll proceed. Anything else we have to do here? Where am I going to next? Well, first we have to get Sidri back home because our contract, act, one of our contracts actually says return to Kerbin from orbit of Ike. After that, we've got a lot of options because we've got these tourists that want to go all over the place. And we could pick up some other contract. We'll have to see. Probably something to do with Jewel would be nice. Uh, but we'll have to see what contracts we can get. Okay, alright, here we go, SAS on, and everything seems to be in order. Oh, no, gear up. Okay, now, we've, now we're sort of oriented properly to have the marker work for us, that's nice. Like the lander design, yeah, well, the beautiful thing is... Well, the thing is, uh, always try and get landers that look like nose cones so we don't have to 
have those fairings which are really heavy, right? The heavy fairings are real killers if you want to try and make some, some, something sort of efficient. We do want to get into orbit, of course, but we also don't want to be too high over the target. Let's go with that first. Looks like the direct lunar ascent vehicle you proposed for Apollo. Well, proposed for Apollo. Um, yes, yep, it is that sort of thing. And of course, in Kerbal Space Program, that sort of thing makes more sense, right? Uh, the Delta Vs to get off the ground aren't so onerous, so you can carry a huge vehicle. Keep in mind, Ike is rotating. Good point. And actually, our target is steadily going relative to our orbit further south. Let's make a adjustment to that effect. Okay, still should be above 9,400 meters over here, considering our apoapsis is 30,000. Okay, um, any tips for getting a Kerbal to start rolling about? Uh, I've had Valentina roll down the slope too. I, th I, I think that happened while live streaming, right? Uh, I forget. Was uh, yeah, I think it was Valentina. She was trying to hop around, trying to get different. It was on Minmus, I think. Okay, well we're over the zone, and now we have to do a crew report. Crew report. Okay, we got the survey data for this, and it get, got us some more science, so excellent. And we fulfilled that contract, and now we just have to get our Kerbal back home from orbit of Ike. So let's get into orbit from of Ike. I was worried her head was going to snap off. Yeah, I was too. I was worried about her survivability in that one. I was very happy when that stopped. Okay. That should be a stable orbit, though I'd like to get this a little bit higher. Okay, that's out to Duna orbit. Uh, also love the latest Space History episode. Uh, good, that's the Apollo 10 one, right? Charlie Brown and Snoopy. That was cute. I, I loved how they went back and forth uh, referring to them as Charlie Brown and Snoopy. That was hilarious. So, uh, probably we'll have to take that in the... Well, okay, we need to get into a tighter orbit around Duna, because if I leave it in this orbit, I bet Ike will capture us again and fling us out into interplanetary space. So let's dip our orbit before proceeding with time warping through the, the months or however long it takes to get Duna back into the right phase angle for transfer to Kerbin. All right, we're... We're good. Um, I don't have any other solar panels, it's just these. Let's orient it so that they get maximum exposure. Yeah, KSP is a great way to teach. I'm not particularly teaching with the Today in Space History episodes, but I want to get into that. Uh, I don't want it to be just uh, me derping around in the game. I'd like to expand a little bit beyond that. We do still have that this probe that we sort of stranded out in the middle of nowhere. And it's circling in. It keeps trying to hit Eve, but never quite working out. At some point, it's got to hit Eve. Of course, it's a little bit late for that because we've already sent a proper probe to Eve, but it's still there. It was flung out by the moon's gravity accidentally. What's the probe in Kerbin orbit? Um, this little satellite thing? I think it just got ejected out. I think it was uh, leftover. Uh, I forget what it was actually. It's just called satellite. I don't remember what it did. Okay, Protractor says that's 75 degrees. You already hyped for the upgrade to Unity 5 at this point? Yes, me too. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I'm, I'm hyped for Unity 5. I'm hyped for Unity 5 frame rates that hopefully will come with Unity 5 because more of my processors will be able to chew on the whole business, the physics. 
Yep. I mean, right now most of my computer is not doing very much when it comes to this game. Unity 5 would be so, so cool. Yeah. And hopefully it'll do everything we want it to. That's sort of the other side of it. Okay, there we go. You know, I'm never overly optimistic about, you know, uh, upgrades or releases or anything like that. But, yep, I'm properly excited by Unity 5 as a prospect. Okay, we're gonna have to make a mid-course adjustment. This is the best I can do here, I think. Alright. Sidri, try and get this maneuver right. Looks like you have enough fuel, though. Actually, let's not go by looks. Let's double check that he has enough fuel. Okay, and ISP 345 gives us 3,000, uh, no, 1,344. 1,344 is fine. That is fine. Oh, your rockets have definitely improved. That's great. I, I never I actually expect that any advice I give actually works out. <laughs> uh, I don't know. So it's very nice to hear. I'm always surprised. Oh wait, uh, we have a goo container. We should have done the goo container on the ground, people. But I guess we'll get high over Duna here and keep this data. Alright, now we can go. Okay, so the question of what we're gonna do next is something I don't know. So, we are going to have to find out once we get back to Kerbin what sort of contracts they'll offer us. Again, we've got a lot of tourists to handle, but I'm not particularly concerned about handling them as a priority. Have to save a Kerbal from low solar orbit. That wouldn't be too bad. If we get that contract, I'll think about it. You haven't seen that one. Uh, build a ship with more or less all the Delta V. Um, yeah, well, the first thing, you, you'll have to calculate phase angles. I, uh, yeah, you'll have to calculate phase angles for that. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna have to just do a mid-course adjustment. So let me get out of this sphere influence. You don't know your gravity assist that well. You don't need gravity assist, you just need... Uh, well, you might want gravity assists. But there's nothing in low solar orbit that's gonna be able to slow you down once you get the gravity assist. Yeah, I mean, the big thing about low solar orbit is, uh, you have Steve Kerman in low solar orbit, lower than Moho, yeah. The tough thing is slowing down, right? Or matching, uh, matching the orbits. Can't even match the orbit with all the Delta V. Well, uh, I hate to break it to you, but, uh, possibly what you're gonna need to do is ion, right? Uh, you might need to spend some time on that. Actually, come to think of it, that would not be a good thing to do on stream. Uh, it might be quite boring, because you're gonna have to have a really long nuclear or ion burn at that point. Okay, it's not letting me make any maneuvers. Typical. Okay, Kerbal, let me make a maneuver node. No? No. Okay. Kerbal is not letting me make a maneuver node. So we're going to have to do test burns. Okay, that works. That doesn't work anymore. Uh, let's go for an inclination adjustment. Okay, that's the minimum there. Let's try this again. Nope, that's wrong. So, retro. Uh, okay, I think maybe we're crashing into Kerbin now. Alright, let's do the thing where people tell me to focus view and see what we're doing. Yeah, we're crashing into Kerbin. Okay, uh, we'll correct that once we get in. I don't know why I want this to be precise. I could probably just warp right through the node and it'd be fine because I've got a crash course, but 
Okay, add maneuver. Uh, anybody have any idea whether air braking calculator has been updated yet, or I don't know if they're even gonna update it. I'm gonna go for 30 kilometers. Probably that's gonna bring us straight down. Think uh, you just built your first space plane SSTO? Oh, excellent! That's always fun. Lots of possibilities once you do that. Now I'm gonna keep the service module with us because I'm hoping maybe I should just go higher. You've been having mixed results. The thing is, yeah. Yeah, it's because the shape of the vessel has such a big impact on on how it air breaks. I usually have a blunt end, of course. I mean, I, it's usually something flat like this or or of course the heat shield, but usually something more like this. But still I get mixed results. Maybe I should aim a little bit higher. What do you guys think? Uh, 30 or higher? Yeah, I've been noticing that the high atmosphere is really draggy. 30? Okay, let's keep it here then. We got higher, lower, and just keep it to here, so... Sounds good. Here we go. You've done 32 from the moon without getting below orbit? Well... That... Well, 30 is a lot lower than 32 when it comes to air braking. Yep, we'll do it as a test. Ready, Sidri? You may be going straight down this time. Where are we? Oh, we're not too far. We're not too far at all. That's the coastline of the KSC continent. Uh, I can't hold it retrograde very well. Uh, come on, Sidri. Get it there. Get it to retrograde here. Here, I'll, I'll let you control it, Sidri. Retrograde, please. Uh, no, I'm not leaking memory all over the place, don't worry. I'm at 1.7 gigabytes of memory, and I'll be fine. If it gets above 2, I'll, I'll cut it out. My main worry is that we might end up hitting the mountains. KSC's over here. Well, this portion wasn't really supposed to come down like this. But if I try and separate now, it's going to cause chaos. Uh-oh. 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 I think it's just the struts, I hope. That unbalances it a little bit. Sidri's holding it. Oh. Or, no, I think... What's actually the ladder? Well, the ladder's got a problem. Don't know what else. The struts seem to be fine, actually. Yeah, I could, I could burn to slow down and do stuff like that. You knew higher, Grisbiz. <laughs> no, it's going fine. I don't know what you're talking about. No. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, of course. If we wanted to get into a stable orbit, we should have been higher. Like, we're not far from the KSC, so that's a bright side. Downside, we're on a bit of rough terrain. Other bright side, we might be able to recover all of this instead of separating and uh, dumping the service module. Perfect time for an EVA. Right. Yes, well, then you'll, you'll, you won't get any Kerbals wanting, wanting to be part of your space agency if you do that. I hope. I hope they have that mechanic in. That would be a good mechanic to have. Uh, you should just have no applicants if you start doing that sort of thing. Very hot. I think we can deploy the parachute and see what happens. Looks like we're pretty low. Okay, that's full parachute deployment, so we're above... 700 meters and we're going down a bit too fast oh a little bit of a pop but uh, we're here we managed 
Okay. Uh, recover vessel. Okay, so EDB approved it and all. Well, the EDB definitely approves of tucking the stuff in, because otherwise it's not elegant, right? My face camera isn't working, though. Not on for some reason. Not a chance. Never. Just forget about it. <laughs> Out of the question. I'm a strictly radio personality. Uh... <laughs> Okay, mission success, as you said, SC-25T, 387.3 science earned. Uh, we were okay, we, we got an A on getting it close to the KSC, not intentionally though, completely by accident. And of course our crew member, Sidri, gained 26 experience to advance to level 4. Oh my, I think, uh, I think we've got some competition going here. <laughs>